Game three, Jason Tatum and the Boston Celtics traveled to Milwaukee to take on Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Bucks. We got our favorite player prop spread lean. We got some more leans. We got a same game parlay coming your guys' way. Yo, what's going on, everyone? This is Austin from Calling Our Shot. We are back with our best bets in this video. If you are new to the channel, I appreciate you for tuning in. If you want to hit that subscribe button down below, we certainly would appreciate it as we're grinding towards 33,000 subscribers. And this video is going live on Friday night, so I won't be able to recap exactly both of our plays from Friday, but we'll be recapping as the future goes on. We appreciate you guys as always for tuning in. If you want to drop a like down below and comment your favorite bet for Saturday slate of games. We've got two games on. I have a separate video for the Warriors versus the Grizzlies. Definitely go check out that one. It is live after this one. But either way, shout out to Prize Fix for sponsoring the channel. Look, if you want the, the one of the best places to bet your player prop parlays, and if you use code COS when you sign up, you get a hundred percent deposit match up to a hundred bucks. Basically, a free hundred dollars to place those parlays with. Look, it's a can't miss offer. Definitely use the link down below or code COS when you sign up for that free hundred percent deposit match. Plus, we'll be having some Prize Fix parlays as the as the playoffs go on. Probably one later on today. Now, also shout out to our COS All Stars out there. If you want to support the channel. Click the link in the description or click the join button as well. It only costs $2.99 a month. Plus, you get the plays a little bit earlier. Our newest all-star, we got Rohan joining back up the COS all-star community. We appreciate you guys. Today, we have a new camera. I got a new I got a new camera. So uh, let me know if you like it down below. We can obviously change it back to the old one. We got a little bit of cinematics. Who knows what's going down, but I appreciate you. Let's hop into my favorite player prop of the day. Going Drew Holiday. I'm taking his under 7.5 assists, minus 130 on FanDuel. First note. Hello, Drew. Thanks for watching the video because I swear we're 0-10 betting on Drew Holiday, whether it's for him or against him. Drew Holiday hates the call on our shot community. And so if he ends up with 10 assists tonight, you know who to blame. But still, I really like this under 7.5 assists. We're going to dive back into it. I'm a sucker for pain. Now, in games one and two, Drew Holiday had five and he had seven assists. So obviously going under in both of those games. No surprise that the game two, when Marcus Smart was inactive, he did have seven assists. So he did end up going a little bit closer, finishing on the hook for our benefit. But I imagine he'll go under today because Marcus Smart is expected back in the, today's matchup. Now, Drew has averaged eight, just only eight assist chances in the two games so far this series. So you'd have to get 100% of those to cash in order to hit this over. The Celtics defense all season long, one of the best defenses in the NBA. No surprise, they allowed the fewest assists per game to point guards this season. I think it was play like 6.9 per game. That's very that's for all point guards, not just Drew Holiday. That's for Javon Carter and other guys coming off the bench. Very good team at limiting opposing assists. I mean, we saw the Bucks score you know, at 86 points last game. See, exactly. This is a great defense. Now, since arriving in Milwaukee, Drew, under the seven and a half assist line in six of nine games versus the Boston Celtics. The three of the games that he went over, one of them was without Giannis Antetokounmpo. Another one, I believe they scored like 127 points. And just, I don't expect the Bucks to score that many points today. There's a reason this over-under is pretty low. Now, honestly, we look at it, Drew Holiday, under in seven of his last nine games without Chris Middleton. Obviously, no Chris Middleton means Drew Holiday has to be more aggressive. And if we're going to be honest, I think he actually hits his over 19 and a half points. Maybe stick around for the same game parlay. Maybe that's in there. But still, I think Drew Holiday is going to have to rely on more of a scorer than a, you know, a facilitator like he would maybe when Middleton's out. We can kind of set up Middleton. Not really setting up a lot of guys today. It's really just... Drew Holiday and Giannis Antetokounmpo out there. So I lean is over 19 and a half points, but I really do like it's under seven and a half assists. And that's my official play. Now the over under, like I said, for this game, just a 212 and a half, pretty low. Not as low as like a Sixers versus a Heat game, but still a pretty low over under from where the series started at. Don't think they expect a lot of points. So I'm taking Drew Holiday. I'm taking his under seven and a half assists, minus 130 on FanDuel. If it goes down to maybe seven assists on prize picks, I don't mind that. If it goes down to six and a half, I probably would avoid it. Now let's move on and let's talk another lean I did consider. I did consider looking at before we get into my spread lean, because they're looking at Grant Williams under nine and a half points. Now I know Grant Williams scored like 21 points in game two, but I imagine the Bucks go back to the drawing board and say, you know what, we're not letting Grant Williams beat us again. We're not letting him shoot, what, six for nine from three-pointer. It ain't happening. So I expect Grant Williams, he hasn't really gone over in back-to-back -back games. I expect them to clamp up on him and not let him score nine and a half points. Granted, it is it's just a lean, so do whatever you want with it. Now my my lean for the game, I lean the Bucks minus the two points. Look, they got the Greek Freak, and he's been playing terribly, shooting from the field the past two games. He found a little bit of rhythm in the second half of game two, but still, this is at game home, at home, and I just expect Giannis to play well. Now, I do know a lot of people are going to be on his overs in points specifically, so does he go under in points? Maybe we see Drew Holiday scoring 30 points. Who knows? But I think the Bucks minus two. I just think they'll get the win here. I think this game series is going to flip-flop, flip-flop. Every team winning each other games, each game at, at, alternating back and forth until we probably get to a game seven. So... 
I think the Bucks minus the two points in this one. I think they're I think they're back at home. They're having their role players play a little bit better, like the Pat Connaughtons of the world, the Grayson Allens of the world. They need those guys to show up. Like I said, without Chris Middleton, that's 20, 25 points per game that they need to fill in. And look, I know Grayson Allen is not dropping 25 points, but neither is Pat Connaughton. But they need those guys to drop 10, 15 points. They need Bobby Porter to have dropped 15 points. Brooke Lopez to get 10 to 15. They need those guys to show up. And I have a much better likelihood of those guys showing up at home than it is on the road in Boston. So I think those guys show up and play pretty well i lean the bucks minus the two points grant williams under nine and a half points now let's get into a same game parlay you guys love them i think the last one we did was on a grizzlies versus timberwolves game we were off by i think one or two d'angelo russell assists today we're running back with this four legs plus 300 odds drew holiday 20 plus points under eight and a half assists we got Giannis 25 plus points and 10 plus rebounds. This is plus 300 odds for all these guys cooked up. Now, start with Drew Holiday. Obviously, we're talking about the under eight and a half assists. I just alt it. He does like to finish on eight assists very often. And so I don't mind it at seven and a half. Obviously, that's my one official play. I figured we throw it into the same game parlay here at a little bit of a safer value. Under eight and a half assists. Don't mind that. And I'd like I said, the 20 plus points. He had what, 25 in game one? 19 in game two he hasn't even shot well from the field but 20 field goal attempts look if he continues that and i think he's gonna have to continue to shoot a good amount Giannis can't shoot 35 40 times every single game so i think we'll see drew holiday get his own normal 18 to 22 ish field goal attempts like if he can't average a point per field goal attempt then whatever then so be it but i know marcus smart's a great defender but it's drew holiday he's gonna have the field goal attempt volume i can live with a guy like that if he's gonna shoot 20 times to potentially hit his over so i don't mind drew holiday's regular over and points tonight now let's talk about the greek freak 25 plus points and 10 plus rebounds now I mean, it's honest. What do you want me to say against him? I mean, I've got his shirt on. I really do. Don't mind. He's over 29 and a half, 30 and a half points. Not really going to force a play there because I think a lot of people kept doing that with Kevin Durant. And we saw Kevin Durant, what? He went under the first three games. People were like, game three, Kevin Durant's got to play better. He's got to hit this over. And we just have to give Celtics credit. Eventually, at some point, we got to say, you know what? Maybe it's the Celtics defense. It's not just these guys shooting poorly. And while I love Giannis, I think he could get his over in points. I think 25 is pretty safe for him. I think he can get us 25 points points he obviously had 28 in game two what 24 in game one and then the 10 plus rebounds we obviously know the story Giannis rebounds well at home I don't mind his over at 12 and a half rebounds I don't love taking it just because you know you got Bobby Portis out there you got Brooke Lopez snagging I don't know why Brooke Lopez is getting six and ten rebounds in games one and two he probably goes under today but I think Giannis 10 plus rebounds is the grief freak he's a walking double double I know he ended with eight or nine rebounds in game two I bet you he bounces back and gets at least 10 in this one so I don't mind his over I like all I lean all these guys overs but we'll just be same game parlaying it plus 300 odds now if I were to talk about the Celtics side of it you know all season long we didn't bet on a lot of Celtics props because I never know who it is Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum who's gonna have a big game and I know a couple people ask about Al Horford I think Al Horford has a decent game he's been shooting a bunch of threes getting a bunch of rebounds too and so no, I'd just like to stay away from Celtics in terms of the same game parlay. I'll just go with these Drew Holiday and Giannis lines. You guys can obviously cook together whatever you want. Put your same game parlays down below in the description. Let me know your best bets that you guys are betting on. Shout out again to Prize Picks for partnering with the Call on Our Shot channel. Check out our daily MLB best bets videos. And definitely go check out that Warriors versus Grizzlies game three matchup. Same exact kind of format. Player prop, spread lean, and the same game parlay for that game. Definitely check it out. It should be live on the channel. We appreciate you guys as always for supporting the Call on Our Shot community. Let's hit 33,000 subscribers. Let me know if you like the new camera. We'll see how we like it, and we'll see what your guys' feedback is. I appreciate you as always. This was Saturday. Let's make some money. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.